How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more f1 2020 my team season 8 we are heading into the penultimate grand prix of season 8 the mexican grand prix and we are so close to the end of the whole series on our channel and we are gonna head into f1 2021 next week i believe we'll see i think it comes out soon so we are literally a couple days away the previous episode well two episodes ago we secured the driver standings and then in the previous episode we secured the constructor standing so what a way to end season 8 to end the whole f1 2020 series with a constructor and driver standings win and if you guys take a look here driver detail we've secured six drivers championships and six constructors championships we'll see how much we can improve on this in the final two grand prix also i'll be simming or just playing through the rest of the seasons until season 10 to see what really is at the end of it all so i'll show you guys what happens if you complete all 10 seasons of my team but that is for next time and we will see what happens in the near future but today we will head on into the mexican grand prix let's head on and i'll be doing the practice programs and i'll see you guys afterwards for qualifying as always please do consider subscribing it is free after all and only 62 percent of you are currently subscribed please do consider subscribing because it'll help out the channel it'll bring you closer to the community that we're trying to grow here and also keep you guys updated when i upload next it is free after all so please do consider doing it it's down below hit that red subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to it thank you guys for the support and thank you for stopping by today and let's get on with the grand prix qualifying at the mexican grand prix so we had a solid practice session uh did some good laps set some good times so i think we're in for a good time here for qualifying let's see what other drivers said regarding time uh so we will try and beat that i think we can just do one run and done kind of deal so let's see what we see on the field so max for step with the 112.5 which is just 400th faster than our qualifying pace program uh time which was a 112.9 i believe so that was with one less engine mode i think it's a good lap and there we go fastest lap of the sec section fastest lap of the session that's what i'm trying to say all right we're out of fuel i'm gonna go back to the garage and we should be in for a q2 qualification one run and done and Lance stroll is the only one who could beat us four tenths faster than us that is quite impressive 111.7 for Lance stroll we set a p2 and oh my goodness will you look at that george russell gets knocked out in q1 what is going on i think there is something wrong with the computer uh because we always qualify on opposites so if i do poorly like if i'm p14 maybe i think george russell would have made it through but because i'm so high on the grid i think george russell failed to qualify for the next round of qualifying so that's a shame really uh gyoto latifi aiken masushita and magnuson join russell in getting knocked out so i guess it's a one-man show today let's head on into q2 quiet confident on this lap on a used set of softs sitting p2 right behind max verstappen on a used set of soft compound tires i don't know if we can go one more lap we'll try to finish as much as a lap we can slight improvement on our previous lap and we are done i think Lando Norris with the fastest lap so let's see I mean we're going we're going into Q3 marvelous Q3 right behind Lando Norris at Max Verstappen we said P3 with a one-tenth distance from ourselves to Lando Norris that is a okay De Vries, Leclerc, Schumacher, Kvyat, Bottas and Joe get knocked out in Q2 so let's head on into Q3 to see where we place for the race Marvelous lap, marvelous lap. That is the fastest lap with a 111.7. 
Marvelous. Absolutely stunning. Let's see if we can set a slightly faster lap. Ooh, almost similar lap time. Well, in 11, 747 is the fastest. We were 200, 2,000, 200 faster. So let's head on into the garage. I think that is the best lap we can set for qualifying. Let's see if that's good enough for pole. Marvelous time that we set. 111.747 seems to be the best lap that anyone has done. 111.842 is Esteban Ocon, 900th, almost one tenth behind us. So we secure pole position for the race. Let's head on into race day starting at pole position. All right, I think we can call that a successful qualifying. We should be in with a good chance in the race. Here we go then, it's time to race in Mexico City, a place which gave Honda their first ever victory back in 1965. American Richie Ginther won from third on the grid. And what are the Honda powered cars this year? Well, Red Bull have been going strong here in recent seasons, so can they keep that record going today? The Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez, 2.6 miles of track that allows drivers to take full advantage of their cars, reaching speeds in excess of 220 miles per hour, and providing lots of opportunities for overtaking. The circuit features 17 corners, 10 to the right, and the remaining seven going to the left. With the Grand Prix nearly upon us, Anthony Davidson is by my side once again to offer his perspective. Let's talk about the Cat. What a season they've had. A well-deserved championship victory and the pressure now surely off with the title already in the bag. It really is well-deserved. I wouldn't say it's been a faultless title challenge, but certainly one that has been consistent and well-managed. Here's hoping they let off a bit of steam today and give us an exciting race. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. The captain lines up on pole position and it's Esteban Ocon in P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Albon, Norris, Max Verstappen and Hamilton, Gasly, Stroll, Giovinazzi and Carlos Sainz, Joe, Bottas, Daniel Kvyat and Schumacher, De Vries, Giotto, George Russell and Nicholas Latifi, Aitken, Matsushita, Magnussen and Charles Leclerc completes today's grid order. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Of course, let's enjoy this race. I'm going to have some fun today. Um, let's see. Oh, this is kind of dangerous. We are looking at a rainy conditions towards the end of the race. So let's see. We cannot move away from the self compound tire because that is the mandated um, tire right now. Yeah, we'll, we'll stick with this. Uh, come in at lap 8 and then go into lap 20 until the rain hits. So we'll see how that works out. We'll drop our fuel load to the bare minimum again because our car is super fuel efficient. So um, it's not a big deal. We can easily make up for lost fuel. So let's get racing in Mexico. So let's go. Getting ready for the race start. Fantastic. Five red lights and away we go. Oh, fantastic start. Oh, Albon, Alcon. Oh. Alright, great exit. I think I cut the corner a little there, but we'll see. No warning for us, so. Ah, that was a corner cut. My bad. I always cut that corner, so I gotta be mindful of that corner. There we go, nicely taken there. But Albon is still pushing on us, so we gotta be careful. Alright. Oh boy. Fastest laps getting stolen left, right, and center. Alex Albon trying to get past us using everything he's got, I think. But nope, 
No, sir, you may not pass. Oh dear, all one's coming. We need to polish up our racing here. Oh, he's going on the outside line. Interesting. Okay. Alright, he's still behind us now. The overtake was good. Oh, what's a new strategy? I don't care! Give me the new strategy! Alright, south to mediums. Whoa, 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 whoa. Albon hit us. Whoa, whoa, Albono. Risky dive there. But we get P1 back. Oh dear. Up on the inside door is always closed, mate. Nice. Alright, we're slightly better than Albon right now. Alright, strategy change, sure. There we go. Somewhat faster. Uh, fastest lap information. Currently, the fastest lap is a one minute fifteen point four. One minute fifteen point four. We are one sixteen point two, so we're eight tenths off that pace. So maybe when we switch tires. Ooh, Kevin Magnuson's out. Alright, well, VSC deployed. K Mag's out. We are four and a half seconds ahead of Albon. Something must have happened to Albon. Alright. It's our boxing lap, but let's ask weather information. Watch the conditions. We think there's rain coming pretty soon. Dry seem like the best tire for now. Ooh, pretty soon. Hold up a second. How soon is pretty soon? Like, a couple laps time or... Let's see what our tire... Hmm, degradation's at 50. Oh, I see rain. I see rain. Perfect. I think we're just going to go on the intermediates as soon as possible. We just saved a pit stop. Alright, so we're nowhere near the changeover, but we are on 56%. I think we should be able to nurse these tires until the changeover. Everyone's pitting. So I have a massive lead against everyone. I have a pit stop plus some. I know these conditions are tough, but bear with it. I don't think the track is ready for intermediates yet. I am starting to lose grip though. So I think it's near. I have a sizable gap to the next car, so I should be fine. Tire status? Well, I'm not sure that these tires are the right ones. It might be time to come in and change. Box this lap. 
box this lap. Alright, we're going in. We're pulling the trigger early. Alright, so Jeff told us that he's not sure if we're on the right tires anymore, so we're going to jump into the uh, pits, put on the intermediates. Taking a risk. I am really taking a risk right now. Let's hope it pays off. It seems like Norris is continuing. Go, go, go. And it seems like everyone else is continuing as well. Ooh, I may have pulled the trigger a little too early. Let's see. Tire status. Oh, it's a little too early. I should have gone one more lap or something. I mean, it's not all too bad. I still have some grip. Ah, there we go. I was a tad bit early. Okay, the stewards have now disabled DRS. DRS is now disabled. There we go. Now we get our distance back to Lando Norris and everyone else. Gasly continues on the softs, but we're on the intermediate, so we should be good. All right, perfection. It was a good, good uh, strategy execution. Semi good. Could have performed it better by coming in one lap later, but still all right. We still have like 21 seconds between us and the next car. The last thing we need right now is a safety car. I don't know, I feel like this race is in the bag for us. Uh, 21 seconds to Norris because Gasly is 100% going to pit as he does right now. Uh, why? Guys, Jeff is on something. He's saying let's go on to the softs. What are you on about, mate? Conditions are gonna keep deteriorating for ten minutes at least. Then why did you offer me softs? I don't know. Jeff is on something, guys. Jeff is on something. Lando Norris is now within twenty seconds. Trying to extend that gap again, guys. Let's go. Oh, we're coming up on some back markers now. Who is this? I don't know. Is that DeVries in the Haas, I believe? Oh no, he's in the Williams, isn't he? Is he gonna let me buy? Yes, he is. Thank you very much. Got more back markers to negotiate. Who is this? This is the most action you guys are gonna see. It's been a fairly quiet Grand Prix. All right, 48 seconds ahead of Lando Norris, 52% on the front left. Leclerc is overtaken. P15 for Leclerc. Oh my goodness, the guy's having a shocker. You know what? I'm just gonna get a new set of intermediates on. Boxer slot. Oh, it's signs and who else is that? All right, let's get a new set of intermediates on. All right, we're also gonna increase the downforce by maybe like one in the front, front wing downforce. 
we should have more grip in the front then, because I think that was what I was missing earlier. Alright, give me a new set of intermediates please, thank you. Off we go. Six laps remaining and we're still miles ahead. I think everyone unlapped themselves. There we go, time to overtake a bunch of these backmuckers again. Alright, I definitely have more grip. First off is a Haas ahead and then an Alfa Romeo. Alright, penultimate lap and we are comfortably in first, 30 seconds to Lando Norris behind us. Making some good gains on the cars ahead, the back markers. Let's see if we can overtake a couple more. It's been a splendid Grand Prix in the ultimate wet conditions. But we played everything to perfection. I see some of them ahead. You can vaguely see them making that turn into the middle section here. They must be so slow right now. AI is driving so slow. Here we go, final lap. Let's see if we can overtake a couple more, please. Can I overtake the Williams and Alfa Romeo ahead? They're squabbling, so probably means they're gonna lose time. Jack Aiken and Nicholas Atifi ahead. They gotta let me through, mate. Let me through. Whoa, wait! What are you doing, Latifi? What the heck was Latifi doing? Gotta let me through, mate. What was Latifi doing, mate? Thought he was giving me way. Whatever. And there we go, P1. Jeez, that was a crazy Grand Prix towards the end. Fantastic! You've won the Grand Prix! That's a spectacular victory then, and with it, the championship is secure. It's been a magnificent season, and they thoroughly deserve the cheers of the crowd here today. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? Well, keeping their tyre temperatures up in the tricky wet conditions was really important. There's not much grip out there at the best of times, and it's ten times worse if you're out there on cold tyres. So the way they kept the rubber in its proper operating window was a huge advantage today. Well I'm thoroughly exhausted after the excitement of that race, but I'm sure it's nothing compared to our drivers here. They've worked hard to make it up there, and it's great to see them make their way out onto the podium. So, a dominant performance in the rain sees us get P1 today. I don't know where Russell is and I couldn't care less, <laughs> like the guy is a lost cause I think, he's not performing up to our standards and the rain just made everything worse. Solid lead, 30 seconds ahead, P1. So the result of the Mexican Grand Prix is as follows, we get P1 first place and Lando Norris and Verstappen round out the podium, Stroll, Gasly, Hamilton, Albon, Kvyat, Alcon and Joe round out the top 10 points positions, Bottas, Russell, there he is, Schumacher, Giovinazzi, Sainz, Leclerc, De Vries, Aiken, Giotto, Latifi and Matsushita round out the remaining uh, drivers that finish and Magnussen does not finish the race today. Day. Now, taking a look at the standings quickly because we just want to see the points. We are sitting at top 314, 
Lando Norris 169, and George Russell at 140. So if Russell gets a good Grand Prix next weekend, or the next time out, he could overtake Lando Norris. So we'll see if he will be able to do that. Constructor standings-wise, McLaren are still in second, overtaking Red Bull. 218 and 239 points is what it's what oh, is what the difference is literally it's what 21 point difference right now between them two so let's see who comes out on top in p2 in that fight well it was a dominant performance from us starting at p1 after a stunning qualifying session and then we maintained p1 for the majority of the race the dry stint was a bit of a tricky one because we had a stunning start from the beginning but then we had to manage our tires because the wet weather came a lot sooner than expected we were expecting it towards the later half of the session towards like the I don't know two-third mark of the Grand Prix but it came within like the first third of the Grand Prix so we just extended the life of the soft compound tires trying to see if we can really push our car to the limit and then uh, save ourselves a 20 second pit stop time or 25 second pit stop um, in the pits so that turned out to be a successful tactic um, the intermediate stint was a stunning one and then we just zoomed ahead we were literally 30 40 seconds ahead of everyone else and no one really threatened our dominance um george russell didn't perform as well as we expected that was a bummer um, i was expecting him to be up in the top 10 even top 5 to be honest but he couldn't get up there uh he did uh, disqualify or he didn't qualify for q2 and got knocked out in q1 so i don't know what to say about that uh we'll hope that he has a good grand prix next time out maybe uh, if my theory is correct i might just take a hit and start at the back of the grid and then get george russell to be in the front we'll see if that does really happen because if that's the case then i think it's a broken mechanism in the game that was the mexican grand prix hope you guys enjoyed if you did enjoy it, please leave a like subscribe using the red button down below and hit the notification bell next to it so you're notified when the next video goes live as always i hope you're doing well 62 percent of you are not subscribed as i mentioned earlier so please do consider subscribing down below so that you join this community and also get notified when the next video goes live on my channel next time out will be the final episode of the whole series f1 2020 my team is going to end completely on f1 2020 uh in the next episode so please be sure to stick around for that because it's going to be an exciting one in brazil so thank you guys so much for watching today and as always hope you take care of yourselves and i'll see you guys in the next video